Hello and welcome to another episode of Pex and I've got dog, dog fur in my face. Pex and politics. Well, what interesting week it has been in the world of British politics. But I'm not going to focus on British politics in this episode. As much as I want to, we will return to Brexit uh, some other time. But today I want to go to another country to talk about an issue that uh, raised its ugly head uh, last week, in fact. Now, the theme of today's racism. Now, I want to make it first, I want to qualify this first of all, with two things. First of all, I think racism is the most serious, one of the most serious things that we as a society have to deal with. It was, it was issues around race and learning around racism and about some of the most, the most terrible chapters in world history that occurred as a result of racism, when I learned about these things in, as a teenager, that motivated me to want to study politics and as a young teenager, as a teenager, oh, I want to change the world, I want to make a better world. And it was learning about things like slavery, the Holocaust, the civil rights movement in the USA, apartheid in South Africa, all those things that I learned about really drove me to think I want to make the world a better place and I want to stop this from occurring. It's not only one of the most serious things, it's also such a ridiculous thing for somebody to feel, to, to express, to be racist. I mean of all the things to, to dislike or hate somebody for, we are all born into our bodies, you know, it's by sheer accident of birth that we're born into the race, the ethnicity that we are. You know, and to dislike somebody because of their hair colour, the texture of their hair, their eye colour, the shape of their face, the shape of their nose, the colour of their skin. What a ridiculous reason to dislike somebody. And let's face it, you know, even within races, although my lecture at university did remind me there is only one race and that's the human race. But to dislike somebody because of a different colour or because they're from a different ethnic group, because they look slightly different really is the most pathetic reason to dislike somebody. There are plenty of other reasons to dislike human beings. Let's face it, there's lots of dislikable human beings out there, but I dislike some people because of the attitudes they have, because of the opinions they express, because of the views they hold, because of the way they treat other people, or they behave around other people. They're the reasons that I dislike somebody not because they're black or white or brown or yellow. That's utterly ridiculous. That's the first thing to say about racism. The next thing to say about racism uh, is that actually, I'm a white guy, of course, you know, and it's only, it, it, it's really for a, the victim to say, I feel that that is racist. You know, so I will never be black, I'll never be Asian, I'll never be, you know, Chinese, I'll never be, whatever. I'll never be those things and somebody who's not white will never be white. So none of us can really know exactly how it feels. So it's really for the victim to say, well, what you've just said or done is racist. Now we can debate that and we can discuss that and say, but is it really? But ultimately it's for the victim to say, listen, that makes me feel victimized. That doesn't make me feel good. That makes me feel bad. So I want to qualify that first of all. Now, last week, uh, Justin Trudeau, who is the uh, prime minister of Canada, and he wouldn't really expect Justin Trudeau, the son of Pierre Elliott Trudeau, perhaps the most famous of Canadian Prime Ministers, oh, and also Margaret Trudeau, the very elegant lady that, that Pierre Elliott Trudeau married. He was, Pierre Elliott Trudeau, his father, was, married, uh, was a Prime Minister, I believe, for twice in Canada for relatively long terms. And now Justin Trudeau. And he is the face of modern Canada. He really extols the values of, of multiculturalism, multiculturalism, which is very much a Canadian value, and promotes you know, progressive liberal values. So it came as a bit of a surprise, but last week he was embroiled with um, what can only really be described as a race issue, because it was unveiled, some pictures were unveiled, where he had dressed up as Aladdin when he was a when he was a teacher out in Vancouver, British Columbia, at a private school, and they had a party, and the theme was uh, Arabian Nights. And he turned up trying to be Aladdin, and he had darkened his face a bit and his skin. I don't know whether it was self tan or makeup, and um, and then all of a sudden people just were, were saying, "Oh, blackface! That's racist!" And immediately he came out to me, "I'm really sorry. I apologise for it. it's racist." I, it's wrong, I'm sorry, I know that it makes some people feel uh, less, they don't feel that they belong in Canada because of it, and he apologised for it. 
And then some other pictures were unveiled where he was dressed, I think this when he was at school, and he dressed up with an afro and made his face black, and, and it was for another fancy dress or for some kind of event or something like that. And then there was another thing where he had done it, done it as well. Now, I'm not saying that they were wise decisions to make, first of all. But I'm questioning, I'm not saying it is or it isn't, I'm just raising it a question, as in, is it really racist? Now, when we lived in Scotland, we also had to deal with, deal with this issue because we were helping an event, um, it was an award ceremony, and the mascot they used, it was a model, these female models, they were, their whole bodies were coloured in black, sheer black, like complete black, not the black colour of an actual black person, this is complete black, and around the eyes it was gold, and the nails were gold, and it looked really glamorous, and, it, and, the, and the lips were gold, it was quite clear, they weren't mocking anybody, they didn't look like a human being, well, not any human beings that are naturally like that. It just looked like a person with black makeup and golden makeup, and it looked stunning. And then some students from the University of Edinburgh said, this is racist, this is blackface, this is so wrong, and it needs to stop. Now, again, I'm just going to raise this as a question, and just to remind you that really it's down to the victim, how they feel. So if there are black people who think it's wrong, ultimately it's for them to say and explain why. And, and we have to respect that. But... I do want to raise it as a question because um, racism is ultimately the fear and hatred of black, of, 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 of different races, not black people, but of different races. Anybody can be racist. Everybody can be racist. There's racism within different communities. There's racism within black communities. There's racism within Asian communities. There's racism black people against white people, white people against black people, all sorts of things. There is racism that exists. But is just colouring yourself up to look like a character really racist. Now, when I was young, I think just before I was born it stopped, but there was something called the Black Minstrel Show in England, and there was these white English men would dress up, they'd put black makeup on, they'd leave their lips white, or they'd have to colour their lips white, and they would, you know, I, I didn't even see this show, so I don't even know what it is, but they would, I think it was like a comedy, jokey kind of show. Now, I don't even know if I say that was racist, but I do think it was wrong, because I don't think they were saying they hated black people, but they were certainly, I think it was more kind of mocking black people, as if to say, look, we're funny, because we're black. Well, I would say that is probably quite racist and certainly very ignorant. But is simply somebody wearing black makeup, like for this event, with gold makeup? What, what are they saying? They're not saying we hate black people. They're not saying we're trying to be a black person. You know, they're not, they're not disliking black people. They're just being artistic. It's just it's a makeup. And are you saying a makeup artist can't use the colour black on a white person's body? You know, that feels rather strange. And with Justin Trudeau, you know, if he was to do it nowadays, it might be a bit naive. But I don't think being Aladdin, dressing up as Aladdin, and he's quite pale like me, and then he puts on some tanner, some brown, some um, um, uh, face makeup on to darken himself a little bit because he wants to play the role a bit more. He's not saying, I hate Aladdin, or I hate people from North Africa or the Middle East. He's just saying, I'm dressing up as Aladdin. Just like somebody who might dress up as B.A. Baracus. You know, it wouldn't be a wise thing to do, but the only reason it wouldn't be a wise thing to do is because there's people going around and saying, blackface, it's racist. I don't think it is racist, personally. As I say, victim's opinion is probably more important than mine. But I don't really think it is racist just to dress up as someone. You know, it might be that's his hero. That's his childhood hero. He wants to dress up as B.A. Baracus. And unfortunately, he wasn't born black. You know, there are many reasons I would love to be born black. There are other reasons I perhaps am grateful that I'm not. But there's different races have advantages and disadvantages. We've all suffered in different ways and in other ways we've had advantages in, 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 in life. You know, sometimes I wish I wasn't me. The fact is, individually, we're all different. But to say that just because somebody wears makeup and not contextualise it, are they wearing makeup to mock and take the piss out of somebody, in which case it would be racist, or are they just wearing makeup to play a role? And what are you saying? A white person can never play a role of somebody else? What about a black person putting on white makeup to, look, to lighten themselves a bit? You know, lots of black people bleach themselves and lots of white people tan themselves. Is that being racist? There's a television show in England called Little Britain. And those actors did another show. There's two actors, David Williams and Matt Lucas. They did another programme set in an airport called, I think it was called Come Fly With Me. And Matt Lucas played a, a Jamaican woman, a large Jamaican, wo Jamaican woman. He had a bodysuit and he was completely black. I don't remember hearing anybody saying that was racist. It was a funny role, but he wasn't taking the piss out of black people. It's just the character that he was playing, 
that's that's the character they wanted because they wanted this nice warm hearted fun with a lovely Jamaican voice and he did it quite well you could tell him he wasn't really a Jamaican woman but but you could hear it and it was it was funny but he wasn't poking fun at black people but was that racist my personal opinion as you can probably tell is it's not racist if it's done in the context of simply something somebody dressing up as something to play a role of something but it certainly is racist if somebody's doing it in order to mock or as a way of making somebody feel lesser. I don't think Justin Trudeau was probably doing that. And I regret some ways that he was apologising, but I do understand he's apologising because there may well be some people of colour who do feel it is racist. And I'm happy to hear that. I'm not happy to hear it in the sense that, oh, that's great to hear. I'm, I'm happy to hear people's differing opinions, of course, around it. And as I say, I'm not black. Unfortunately, I never be black, unfortunately, or any other colour, you know, because we can all suffer from racism. So I can't stand here and tell you exactly how I feel. But I can say it feels strange that just because somebody puts on some makeup of a certain colour that it's classed as racist. It needs to be put in a context. Are they doing it because the motive is just to dress up and have fun and look and play a role? Or are they doing it because they are mocking, because they dislike, because they hate, and because of ignorance. Are they doing it for those reasons or those reasons? Come on, we're human beings. We're not meant to be stupid and say, he's wearing black makeup, he must be racist. And class everybody who wears a bit of coloured makeup in the same way. We should be able to use our brains and say, well, clearly Justin Trudeau wasn't being racist, he was just playing a role. Or there's somebody there in a black minstrel, a member of the Ku Klux Klan, coming along dressing as a black person, trying to mock them, and then, then quite clearly they're saying, well, that clearly is racist. Come on, use your brains, and we've got to put things into context, because racism, as I said at the start, is serious. It really is. And we have to deal with racism when it really does exist. But I don't think that putting on makeup, brown makeup, black makeup, whatever, to play a role is in itself racist. So we shouldn't be using energy, we shouldn't be using time and effort to try and tackle something that really isn't racist, because that time and effort could be used on tackling actual racism. What do you think? Let me know. What are your thoughts on blackface? What are your thoughts on what happened in Canada with Justin Trudeau? Please let me know your thoughts, and particularly if you are somebody who is non-white, who is of colour, for want of a better term, how do you feel about it? Do you feel it is racist seeing white people wearing any, you know, makeup for whatever reason, well, not any makeup, but any if dressing themselves up as somebody of colour? Is that, in your opinion, racist or is it not? Or do you just think it's a little bit insensitive nowadays and people probably shouldn't do it just because that, was, that is what society is expecting? Or do you think, well, we shouldn't be bullied by society? Why should we do something just because of mob rule and some people say, you shouldn't wear dark makeup because that's being racist. You know in your own head, you're thinking, well, actually, I want to dress up as Beyonce because I bloody love Beyonce. She's my hero and I want to go out and wear a wig and I want to dance like Beyonce for the night. And I want to really look like Beyonce. So I'll put a little bit of makeup on because I want to show you I'm taking the role seriously. Let me know. This has been Pets and Politics uh, and I'll be back soon returning, of course, to the question of Brexit.